I'm Anton. My name is Sai Akechi. I'm just a regular high school student that attends West Hibari High. All right, then we put 15 grams of skim milk and 3 grams of dry yeast before mixing it up. Today, we're all having a great time in Homey Sea, cooking bread and having a great time. Hmm. Uh, Akechi Kiln, what exactly is that? It's an ultra micro electro scale. It's a scale that can be used to measure absolute values for chemical processes and elemental chemistry down to seven significant figures. I don't think it needs to be that precise. We were all struggling pretty bad to try to make our first ever bread, but having fun baking nonetheless. So, you want to use the ball of your hand to try and push it onto the table, okay? Oh, what are you doing in there? Ah, Nogamori-kun! Well, well, actually, you're in the middle of making bread for homie C and, uh... <laughs> what a dirty bread, bad boy! Did you even wash your hands, Tabata? <laughs> actually, I have a better question. Did you pay this month's utility bill? <laughs> yeah! Tabata, a classmate of ours, apparently is from a poor family. Because of that, a delinquent by the name Nogimori often messes with him. Nogimori... You're in a different class, right? Stay out of the way! I'm warning you now, you're going to regret it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, fine, I'll leave the freaking class. Are you okay, Tabata? Yeah. So, we had to deal with that, but... Man, what is this? It's so good! Oh my god! Wow! You guys all did so great. I'm so proud of you all. They're all unique and beautiful. Everyone was able to bake some bread that everyone was satisfied with. It's so good, so... Uh, I feel like we might even be able to sell it. <laughs> That's true. I would want everyone to try some. Right? Well then, how about we try selling it then, hmm? Huh? <gasps> The home EC teacher took us to a nearby unnamed selling stall. This is the unmanned selling stand that one of my good farmer friends have allowed us to use. Making something and being able to get hands-on experience with selling things is going to be beneficial to you all later on in finding a job or making your own stuff. Oh, that sounds fun. I want to try. That's how our home EC class actually found ourselves in a situation where we were enjoying food business. It was an unmanned station, so there was no need for customer service. We set up a box so that we could have the customers pay using the honor system. Wow, it looks really good. Just putting it in order like this makes it seem like a real product. <laughs> what are we going to do with the money that we get from selling this stuff? Hmm, that's a good question. We're not after the money from this anyway. What should we do? It was right as everyone was wondering what we should do with the money that we earned from selling the bread when... Um, I know this is a kind of an embarrassing topic, but would you guys be willing to donate it to my family? Tabata suddenly asked us for the money out of the blue. Apparently, his father had lost his father early on, and to make things even more worse, he had six siblings. Six? Oh, no wonder your mom is struggling. Tabata is the oldest son, so he was working part-time all the time to try to support his family. But there are eight people in his family. He can't really do all this on his own. Th that's only if you guys are willing. I don't mind. Me neither. I'm totally on board, too. Everyone was totally fine with donating the money, so we decided to donate all the money we earned from the unmanned selling location to Tabata's family. I'm so excited to see if the bread actually sells, huh? <laughs> yeah, totally. <laughs> we placed our bread onto the stand to sell, and we were just waiting to check on the bread till the next day. The following day. Surprisingly enough, all of the bread has been sold out. Wow! I can't believe that the stuff that we made actually sold. 
We really gotta thank the people who bought the bread, huh? It seems like it was a lot more popular than anyone expected, huh? However... Huh? Uh -huh. What's wrong? One of the boys noticed something was off. It's not in here. There's not a single penny in this box! What? what? There was literally no money at all in the box. I is this... A thief? W what do we do? Should we go to the police? The whole class was confused and upset over the surprising situation. It's a uh, nugamora kun Huh? I bet you that nugamora kun did it. I know for a fact he would do something like this. Debata suddenly started yelling at everyone. I'm sure he's just doing this to try to get in the way of everyone. You shouldn't just decide on something like that. It's not fair or correct. You have no proof that he did anything. But what? Tabatakun seemed to be quite angry because this money was supposed to be income for his family. It's fine, we can just make more. We never found out who was behind it, but we decided to make more bread during our next home EC class and try to sell it again. However... It's stolen again! What the heck? The next day, yet again, the bread was stolen and no one paid. Not a single penny, nickel, or dime was in the box. This kind of thing has never happened in the past before. We worked so hard to make that bread. Uh, this is the worst. The unmanned station was built on trust between the seller and the customer. That meant there was no witness and no security camera. We had no idea who was doing this. I guarantee you it was Nogamura. How could he do such a thing? Just stomp all over everyone's hard work and effort. I could never forgive him for that. Tabata-kun, we're fine. We were all just left to fidget and accept our losses, but right at that moment. Well, then how about we catch the culprit red-handed, huh? We can look for him. Rentaro. You are Rentaro-kun from the next class over. Rentaro, from the class next to ours, showed up at the unmanned selling station. Yeah, if ever you're in need of help, you can count on us. We're the handyman club after all. The handyman club? Rentaro and I really respected Anton-san, the local handyman. And so we had created the handyman club to do something similar. However, if we want to catch them in the middle of it, well, what are you going to do, Rentaro? You think that someone is actually going to show up in the middle of the day like this? Her Rentaro's suggestion, we decided to set up the bread for the third time at the unmanned station and stake it out. I think that it's Nogamori-kun doing all of this. Shh, quiet. Someone suspicious is pulling in. A very suspicious looking blacked out car showed up and stopped next to the unmanned selling station and drove off. Stop right there, thief! Wah! Rentaro immediately followed using his moped, however. Wait, Yakuza? It was just a regular old customer that had purchased the bread out of kindness. There was money in the box like you'd expect. They had paid like they were supposed to. Right, yeah, yes sir, I I'm so sorry. <laughs> they stayed there overnight to keep watch, but no one suspicious showed up. The next morning. Again? This is so horrible. The bread was once again completely missing. Apparently, they were waiting until we stopped stalking out the location and watching. Once again, the thief had gotten the better of us. We're done with the games now. Let's start using our brains to catch the culprit. A catchy. I could feel a burning rage building up within me after seeing my classmates depressed and upset over the lack of money. At the same time, I had a small suspicion that was building up inside of me as well. I decided to take the matter into my own hands. B but how? This guy is literally a genius with an IQ of 200. 200? Having someone do this to us right in our face, I would be able to continue working as a handyman in the handyman club. And then I...
and decided to create my own simple machine. I wanted to set up a trap against him. I then asked my classmates to once again make their bread one more time to help me out. Before setting up the bread onto the stool without anyone knowing that I set up the trap for the criminal. Later that night, I went to check to see if it was stolen and... Just as I had suspected, someone had stolen all of the bread from the bread stand. This is exactly what I wanted. The next day, the bread stool incident had apparently escalated into a bigger problem than we had anticipated. It was literally a burglary type problem, so the police showed up to investigate and a lot of the parents began to complain. Our home EC teacher was definitely struggling to deal with everything all at once. Oh, I feel so bad for a man. If they're going to take it, then I don't even want to make the bread in the first place. Uh, who would even do something this horrible anyway? I mean, seriously, how rotten do you have to be? I guarantee you it's Nogamori-kun. I know for a fact that it's Nogamori-kun doing all of this. Don't worry. We're going to find out everything today. Who is behind all of this? Huh? Huh? Akechi, you know who's behind all this now? I set up a small alarm in the bread that was stolen yesterday. Huh? An alarm? What's the point of setting up an alarm? If the sound goes off now, I'm sure the person who's behind it is already miles away and nowhere near us anymore. What if the criminal didn't go far away, though? Huh? The bread thief is in this school, Rentaro. He's near us, Rentaro. Oh? Akechi seemed to already have a Hunchester who had stolen the bread, but I had not a clue in the world who was responsible. If I narrow it down to someone within the school, someone who's suspicious, the female group leader! Shinomiyama? Or, or the baseball club goofball, Tepe? Or is it the problem child, Nogamori? Wait, 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 maybe it goes completely against everyone's guesses, and it's actually the teacher from Home EC? The more I thought about it, the less idea I had as to who took it. Hmm. Then, Akechi started questioning the people in the class. Hey, criminal scum! Do you have any intention of coming forward on your own? I think that is better for you that way, to try to put up a fight. However, no one actually stepped forward as a culprit behind the thief. Very well then, I suppose I have no choice. Akechi pushed some kind of button. I guess it was a device to make the alarm trigger. We would come to find out who was behind it all very shortly after this, and no one could have predicted who did it. Ah, sorry to bother you guys. I'm going to change the light bulbs out real quick, huh? Right at that moment, the person that we admire, Anton-san, showed up to change the fluorescent bulb in our classroom. La 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 la, I'm Anton, yeah. Ah, uh, Anton-san! Huh? You were behind all of this. The alarm was absolutely ringing from behind Anton-san. Uh, I, I was behind all this? No, the sound is coming from behind Anton-san. It's coming from Tabata. What? Uh, I'm so sorry. Apparently the guy who was behind all of the bread stealing was a poor kid in their very own classroom, Tabata. Y you really did that? Tabata began to cry and confessed to all of his crimes. So sorry, I'm so sorry, guys. You're the absolute... Worst! Loser! Why would you do that? You tricked us? What the hell? What's going on? Explain yourself! I wanted to make it Nogamori Kun's fault for everything. He always mocked me and I just couldn't forgive him for that. My mom is always working so hard to take care of us. That's why... Uh, that's why I wanted to make it so that he would get expelled from the school. That's right, Tabata was just trying to make the whole thing Nogamiri's fault. How about what everyone feels? Do you realize that everyone in the class continued to make the bread for you and your family? You just continued to trick us. I could feel a burning anger building up inside of me after hearing his whiny little talking. That's got nothing to do with me. It's not my problem. I needed to do what I needed to do. No one is ever going to understand me. You little, you're just gonna keep talking all this selfish talk about how you feel and your feelings, huh? What the heck do you want from me? 
It's all Nogamurikan's fault! Calm down, Rintaro. Watch the next moment. <sighs> well, you must be out of your damned mind. <sighs> Mom? The teacher from OMIC showed up out of nowhere? You pushed your stupid emotions and feelings onto your feelings and all the while crushing and stomping all over your classmates' emotions and feelings. God may forgive you, but I most certainly will not. Ah. She was intimidating enough to even scare me. Afterwards. Yay! This spread is so nice! Thank you, guys. Yeah, you make sure to eat up. I'm so sorry about this, you two. Don't worry about it. You gotta help each other out when you can. Come on. Go on, apologize to them. Ugh, I'm so sorry, guys. Afterwards, everyone ended up forgiving Tabata. We all talked it over and we decided to give the bread to the Tabata household directly. By the way, we decided to warn Nogamori as well for what he was doing to Tabata. We should have just done this from the get-go, huh? Indeed. Whatever the case, the mystery of the disappearing bread from the unnamed bread stand was solved once and for all. Thanks for watching everyone. Come back again for more and don't forget to subscribe to the channel.